Hey guys, so I'm going to go on and read Chapter 8 of Funny Frank by Dick Kingsmith, illustrated by John Eastwood. Chapter 8 Gertie and Mildred had gone into the hen house to lay their day's eggs, and so knew nothing of Frank's new feet. They were sitting in adjoining nest boxes, and Mildred, mindful of the rebuke she had recently received from speaking while Gertie was laying, kept her beak shut. Once Mildred had performed and gone out, Gertie laid her egg and then, and then had a look at Mildred's in the nest box. It was, she was pleased to see, a white egg of rather poor size. Badly bred, Mildred is, she thought to herself with satisfaction. I always knew it. Suddenly outside, she saw Mildred scuttling back, to, scutt scuttling back hastily. Quickly, dear, Mildred panted. Come and have a look at your Frank. I want nothing to do with that, to do with the boy, said Gertie. He's nothing but an embarrassment to me. Oh, that's terrible, this mama to say, huh? But Mil but, but you must come and look, said Mildred. He's really swimming. Curiosity is a strong instinct and Gertie could not resist making her way to the duck pond. At the farthest side of it, she saw her son sitting upon the water quite still. So there's Gertie and Mildred Ling, and there's Gertie's egg. I mean, I'm sorry, Mildred's egg that Gertie was looking at. If you call that swimming, my dear Mildred, said Gertie with a very sarcastic voice. Sarcastic voice. You need your brains examined. If you've got any, if you've got any. Frank is simply floating as he has done before, thanks to that awful rubber suit. Frank was in fact getting his breath back after a great number of high-speed circuits around the pond. And when he saw his mother on the opposite side, he shouted, Mom, watch this! And set off toward as fast as his webs could, could drive him, which was very fast. Up out of the water, he surged and stood proudly before his mother in his wetsuit and new yellow footwear. What do you think? What do you think, Mom? He said, as an answer, as an answer, Gertie gave a loud squawk of horror oh, and ran quickly away. What had her son done now? Mildred ran away too, eager to tell the rest of the flock about the latest development. Frank turned sadly back toward the pond. Over its surface, there still ran the waves caused by his recent rapid dash, and and on them were ducklings were du were and on them the ducklings bobbed. Wow, chick, they cried. Ain't you the greatest? Greatest what? asked Frank. Why, swimmer, of course, they said. Speed of light, man. Fantastic. So there's Gertie there. She's talking, whenever she was talking to Mildred, saying that she needed her brains examined. And there's Gertie and Mildred running away from Frank after he came out of the water. Oh, it sounds like the other chickens aren't really enjoying this, huh? But at least the ducks are being kind to him, huh? Frank felt a glow of warmth. His mother didn't want to have anything to do with him, nor did his brothers and sisters, nor the big cockerel, or any of the hens in the flock. But these little ducklings, they were his friends. I really can swim now, can't I? He said. And how? cried the ducklings. Can I come for a swim with you, with you all now? asked Frank. The ducklings looked at each other. Sure thing, man, one said. On one condition, said another. What? said Frank. Take it a bit slow, chick. There's no hurry. Nice and easy, nice and easy does it. You make, you may like the high speed stuff, but we don't. 
Oh, I see what you mean, said Frank said. If I'm dashing about, it makes the water rough. So it's not so, so nice for you. Is that, is that it? You got it, they all said. It's enough to make us pond sick. So Frank launched himself back into the water very carefully and began to swim gently around the duck pond with slow, measured thrust of, of his big yellow webbed feet. And the little yellow duckling swam with him like a floated like a like a like a float flotilla of small boats ex escorting a big ship. So there are all the ducklings when they were asked whenever they said he could join them, and there he is swimming with them. Then the big white drake and all the other ducks, seeing how the ducklings were enjoying the company of the strange chicken, came out came out onto the water and swam along too. So that Frank found himself at the head of the greatest armada of ducks. At last, he thought happily, I am in my element. And there he is leading all the ducks in the pond. And that's the end of chapter eight. So it's kind of unfortunate that his family doesn't really agree with the changes that he's made, but he's found a group of friends that really enjoy him, huh? Anyways, uh, tune in tomorrow for uh, chapter nine and remember the class rules. Love yourself, love others. I send all my love to y'all and I hope to see y'all very soon. Bye.